Welcome to another episode of O-Town Outdoors. Today we're going to flash back to May 6th um, to my first turkey hunt of the 2015 Ohio turkey season. Uh, there's a lot of awesome action in it and I was able to put down my first bird of the season. And uh, right now Jake and I actually have some turkeys gobbling about 200 yards away. So we're going to go across the street and try to get set up on them. Uh, so stay tuned and uh, let's jump right into the action. So at this point, we know this gobbler is coming. He's responded to several of Nick's calls and he's getting closer every time. So for us, it was just a matter of sitting and waiting for him to pop out into our field.
Where was he at? He was getting nervous. I had to blast him. Where was he at? He popped out by the big tree. He came right to the line. He was strutting, dude. I just couldn't get any of it. I thought he was coming right to the decoy. He, he was, and then he saw me. So I had to take it. He was going. Well, I think I got it on this one, but I was moving, so... Go get him. It looks like a big bird. We always seem to get it done, brother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you. It's okay. He was right here, and he, like I just was too scared. To he say anything? Here, he started coming to the decoy, and he was hitting his, you know, those clucks. Yeah, I heard the clucks. Yeah. I just couldn't. Nice. Good job, brother. All right, let's double up. Yeah, we can go try to get on this too. All right, guys. Well, I said it during deer season, and I'm gonna say it again. Whenever Jake and I are together, it seems like we can always get it done. So this morning was no different. It's 7.30 about right now. And uh, they didn't gobble until, I don't even know, close to seven. It's so foggy and it rained all day yesterday. And they just, I don't know, they just weren't firing up like usual. But uh, they gobbled probably three or four times on the roost and then flew down and pretty much shut up. But I was easy on the calls every once in a while. I just hit them. And sure enough, he gobbled 75 yards from us. Two minutes later, crossed into this field that I'm sitting in right now. And he was strutting, coming to the funky chicken decoy we had set out, but Jake couldn't really get around the tree to get him coming in. And then he got super nervous. He was probably 15 yards from me, got really, really nervous, and started taking off this way, so I leaned out and shot him. We haven't really gone over the footage yet to see if we got him. Jake was trying to lean out and uh, get him in frame. So we'll see about that, but nonetheless, it was an awesome hunt and uh, another great memory to add to our collection. So. We're actually gonna go now and uh, try to get Jake one, try to double up for the day. But uh, it's a pretty awesome hunt and I'm, I'm stoked. This is my third bird ever and definitely my biggest. We'll have to put the tape on him, but he's got a nice beard and some, some hooks on him. So uh, we'll see. I gotta, gotta give a shout out to Kyle Green from uh, Green Industries with his uh, hill jack seats because I was sitting in that this morning, comfortable as can be, and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. So stay tuned, you're watching O-Town Outdoors, and uh, hopefully we can bring you some more action here in a bit.